This is the fourth section um, in the uh, radians chapter. We're now going to be solving trig equations. Uh, so remember, um, you want to use a trig inverse to find the first solution, or what we call the principal solution. It's the first one. And then once you've found the principal solution, um, you can draw a graph. Um, but I suppose the most popular way is using a cast diagram to find any other solutions. Now, because we're going to be working in radians, when we draw our cast diagram, we'll have zero, we'll have pi over two, we will have pi, three pi over two, and then we come right around here to two pi. Yeah, so it works just like before, C, A, S, T, but we just label it around in radians rather than uh, degrees. That's the only difference. Everything else is the same. Okay, so let's look at the first one where we've got um, sine theta equals 0 0.3 and look at the interval yeah, between 0 and 2 pi, you want to find all the solutions. So the first thing we want to do is to find the first solution with our calculator in radians mode and find the sine inverse of 0 0.3. So sine inverse 0 0.3 and we get 0 0.304. Now the hard bit is when we put it on a cast diagram is knowing whereabouts that number goes. We know where degrees go, but a radian of that size, whereabouts should it go? Okay, well, we know that pi is 3.14, yeah? Um, this, pi over two, Well, that's going to be about 1.7. And then 3 pi over 2, um, that's pi times by 1.5, is about 4.7. So we've got um, 0 0.304. That's smaller than 1.7. So on my cast diagram, that's going to be about there. So remember, you can draw your cross like that C A S T um, our angle is here in the segment or the part of the diagram where all are positive we're trying to find sine where else is sine positive over here so the other solution we're going to get from this is by doing um, the sine inverse of pi minus um, that 0 0.304 to get the other solution. Oh no, not the sign of it. We just do pi minus 3.04. So I'm going to do pi minus answer. We've already got the first solution. So uh, sine inverse 0.3 pi minus that pi minus my answer 2.83. If I've done it right, let me just check again. So my solutions are going to be 0 0.304 and the other one 2.84. Um, yeah, 2.84. Let's do three significant figures for both. Part B, you need to do a bit of rearranging first. So let's make that cos theta divide both sides by 4. So you get cos theta equals a half, 0 0.5. So let's do the cos inverse, 0 0.5, to find our first solution. Remember, still in radians. Uh, 
and exactly pi over 3. That's nice, pi over 3 at 60 degrees. If it, It's useful if it's like a pi over something. It helps if you know roughly what angle that is. Gives you an idea. So pi over 3 goes there. Let's do our cross there and there. Oops. C A S T. It lands in the first section where all are positive. We're fine to find cos. Where else is cos positive? Over here. So the other angle is going to be, this angle here is going to be 2 pi minus pi over 3. That's a bit like doing 2 minus a third. So that gives you 5 pi over 3. So let's just highlight the answers for that one. So for this one, the answers are going to be pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Let's just highlight that. And C. Uh, again, a bit of rearranging. So if we took away 3 from both sides, we would have 5 tan theta equals negative 2 and then we'll divide both sides by 5 so we get minus 2 fifths so tan inverse of minus 2 fifths to find uh, the first solution principal solution so tan inverse negative 2 fifths and we get a decimal here, negative 0.38 and so on. Let's draw a little cast diagram down here like that. Negative 0.38 is going to be uh, roughly over here somewhere. So that's the uh, minus 0.38 thing. C A S T. Now we're in a part of the diagram where uh, tan is negative down here. Where else is it negative? It's going to be negative over here. So that's going to be 0 0.38, that space. So our solutions are going to be, now our answers need to be between 0 and 2 pi. So this minus 0 0.38 needs to be converted to a positive number so let's go through both of these angles the one over here by the s that's going to be pi minus uh, this 0 0.38 and the angle over here um, is the same as 2 pi minus 0 0.38 we need to change it to a positive so let's work both of those out. Um, so I'm going to um, do pi minus the answer. Actually, because I've got a negative pi plus the answer. So I get um, 2.76 as one solution. Then the other solution. I basically want to do 2 pi, 2 pi, and I want to subtract um, the tan of that negative 2 fifths. I want to try and get it exact. And we get 5.90. Point nine zero. So there's our answers to three significant places. Okay, another equation here. Whenever you've got um, trig equations, you either want sine, cos, or tan, or you want it in a form where you can um, factorize it. We can't factorize this, but I know there's an identity I can use, which is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. 
So sine squared theta is equivalent to 1 minus cos squared theta. And if I make that substitution, I will have everything in terms of cos. So that would be 17 cos theta minus 3 lots of 1 minus cos squared theta equals 13. We want to write it so it's uh, a quadratic in terms of cos minus 3 plus 3 cos squared theta minus 13 equals 0. So that gives us 3 cos squared theta plus 17 cos theta at minus 16 equals 0. Um, so what I might do is now use the quadratic equation to try and solve this. So what I might say is let x equal cos theta. So I end up with 3x squared plus 17x minus 16. That's just a little bit easier to deal with. So um, I'm not going to try and factorise it. I'm just going to solve it which I can use my calculator for, menu and option A, and I'm going to solve a polynomial of degree 2 with a 3 in front of x squared, a 17 in front of x, then a negative 16 as the constant. And I'm going to write down the exact answers here. So I'll get x is negative 17 plus root 481 over 6 and the other value is just with a minus minus 7 negative 17 minus root 481 over 6 so if I want to find uh, cos I need to do the cos inverses of those so over here um, theta will be 0 0.606 to three significant figures and this one over here doesn't give you any solution so there is no solution from this one because you're, you're trying to do the cos inverse of a number that's probably smaller than negative one or bigger than one so there's no solution from that so straight to the cast diagram 0.606 is going to be sort of over here, 0.606, something like that. C, A, S, T, we're solving for cos. So cos up here is going to be positive. Where else is it positive? Over here. So this is where we're going to find our other solution. And uh, we can find our other solution by doing um, 2 pi minus put that number, that 0 0.606. So that's going to be this angle here. So 2 pi minus 0 0.606. And if I do that, 2 pi minus... Two pi, two pi. I'll get it right. Minus point six zero six, and I get five point six seven eight to three significant figures. So final answers down here in purple. Uh, theta is zero point six zero six, and five. Point six seven eight. Okay, this one here, because of the three theta, when we draw our cast diagram, we're going to go around three times. And then we need to make sure that we divide our answer, answers by three at the end. I'll show you what I mean. Right, so first thing we need to do, um, the sine inverse... of root 3 over 2 is going to give me 3 theta not theta yes yeah, so that's the first thing in radians 
sine inverse root 3 over 2 and I get pi over 3 that's what 3 theta is okay now the 3 tells us go around the cast diagram three times right pi over 3 is going to be it's about 60 degrees well it is exactly 60 degrees so it's going to be here so we're finding all the answers for 3 theta then we change them into thetas but you use the cast diagram first right so let's go around and let's write all of these solutions down then we'll divide them by three so three theta can be pi over three which is the first one now um i'm finding solutions for sine um i've landed whoops that's not very good don't want to highlight in a black pen um, i've landed here a means they're all positive I'm trying to find solutions for sine. Where else is sine positive? Over here. So that means that this is also pi over 3. So what are the angles we've got? Pi over 3. Um, this one over here is going to be pi minus pi over 3. That's our first trip around the cast diagram. Let's go around again. Next one's going to be over here. 2 pi plus pi over 3 so 2 pi plus pi over 3 and then uh, by the time we get over here we're now up to 3 pi so that's going to be 3 pi minus pi over 3 then our third trip around is going to be 4 pi plus pi over 3 and then 5 pi minus pi over 3 okay let's simplify all of those and then we'll, we'll um, divide them all by 3 some of these are going to be outside of the range but let's see what happens when we divide them by 3 right so pi over 3 so the next one is like uh, 1 minus a third so that'd be 2 thirds pi 2 pi over 3 next one is going to be like 6 pi minus another pi 7 pi over 3 next one is like 9 pi take away 1 so 8 pi over 3 next one is like um, 8 no that'd be like 12 12 thirds take away one so that's 11 pi over three hope i'm working these ones out right and the last one five pi which is like 15 thirds take away a third 14 pi over three that's what three pi is or three theta if i want theta let's divide these all by three which basically means sticking a nine at the bottom at the bottom not the top so 2 pi over 9 7 pi over 9 um, 8 pi over 9 11 pi over 9 and 14 pi over 9 now I want to re reject any solutions which are bigger than 2 pi um, because these are all ninths, I want to reject anything that's bigger than 18 pi over 9. And I don't have any which are bigger than 18 pi over 9. So in fact, I've got, even when I divide by 3, I have all of these solutions. Okay, you can now do exercise 5e on page 131 to 132.